again, YouTubers and Pokemon fans. For this video, we have a Mammoth package here. Well, not package. A Mammoth new product. It is the Pikachu EX Legendary Collection. Let me zoom out and stuff here so you can see it in all of its glorious, glorious glory. Let's see. Oh, that's about as good as it gets. So that will probably be the thumbnail right there. There's kind of some glare here. There we go. There, There's your thumbnail, probably. Pikachu EX Legendary Collection. This is not supposed to come out until November 18th, but, you know, big box retailers, well, they don't know what release dates slash street dates are. They don't read the boxes that say, do not sell or stock until X date, but what you gonna do? So, I picked one up to show you guys. Uh, they didn't have the Hoopy X box where I found it, but they'd also have the new lunch boxes. I should be opening that up on Friday in a battle against the Pokemon Evolutionaries, so stay tuned for that. Uh, but as you can see, it comes with a Pikachu EX. There's a pin up there that you can't see right now, and five beautiful full art promos, which are from the Japanese uh, legendary... I forgot the exact name of the set, but the legendary set, basically, that they had. Um, and the Hoopa EX collection, I believe, has five different full arts, plus Hoopa EX, of course. Then you get five booster packs. I believe that is Primal Clash. Two Breakthrough, one Orient Skies, one Ancient Origins. So two of the newest set, and one each of the three sets prior to that. I'll show you the back of the box here. It says, Pikachu EX leads the way. Now the most famous Pokemon of all is here, as a Pokemon EX. The Pokemon TCG Pikachu EX Legendary Collection brings you the beloved Pikachu as a powerful Pokemon EX, plus five amazing legendary Pokemon. This collection delivers some of the most famous characters from throughout the Pokemon world. And that says down there what you all get. It also mentions a code card for the Pokemon trading card game online. Uh, I'm sure you can't redeem that till the 18th. Uh, I'll be curious to see if the code gives you just the Pikachu or all six of these or what exactly. But uh, save a little time. Let's uh, get this out of the packaging. All right, we got all out of the packaging. It's all in a nice little pile there. So that big box condenses down to that little pile there. And plus we got the code card here off to the side as well, which just says that Pokemon TCG Pikachu EX Legendary Collection. As usual, the code doesn't say exactly what you get with the code, just where it comes from. But first and foremost, I gotta say, Pokemon props. You finally package promo cards nicely. The Pikachu EX was right here. They give you a little lip here so you can get your finger underneath it and slide it out. And it came out very nicely. And all the full art promos were just simply kind of like laying in these squares. Uh, all of them easily lifted out. This one I just flipped it upside down or whatever to make it fall out. So, uh, the promos, condition-wise, look fantastic. So, Pokemon, thank you. Please package promos like this moving forward in all products. Because so many different uh, promo products, the way the promos are packaged, it's very hard to get a mint condition one. There's so many defects and stuff in the cards because of the packaging. It's just a nightmare. This package is good. Keep doing this, Pokemon. Please, I beg of you. You found something that works, go forward with it. Please. So that said, here is the very cute little Pikachu pin. There you go. And as usual, it's got kind of like gold playing with the Pokeball symbols on the background there. And then all the promos. Let me show you the backs here first so you can see the condition here. You know, I see like no whiting or anything on the edges. They're all perfectly, you know, flat. They're not curved. There's no weird spots. One here has a little whiting, but from packs two that happens. So. I'm not going to complain too much, I mean, it's, it's infinitely better than what usually is. So, take a closer look here, here is Palkia, I don't have these in order promo number, but oh well. So Palkia is XY75 with Wave Splash and a Cross Slicer. Your opponent can't attach energy cards from his or her hand to the defending Pokemon during his or her next turn. Regigigas is promo XY82, the ability Earthen, yeah, Earthen Awakening. Whenever you attach an energy card from your hand to this Pokemon, heal 20 damage from it, and Gigas Punch is 100, and if you flip, you flip two coins, and if both are tails, the attack does nothing. And by the way, these promos, they're not exactly playable, but they look beautiful. I love these cards. I actually might like the English ones more than Japanese ones. I have to pull up Japanese ones again to verify, but these look pretty darn sharp, I gotta say. So, uh, Zekrom, 120. Uh, 20 for 2, not too great. Voltage Storm does 90 for 4, and does 10 damage to each of your opponent's bench Pokemon. 
and that was XY76. Black Kiram is XY80, has Thundernail for 40. If heads, they're paralyzed. Uh, 120 with Frozen Slice, and it is 20 to itself. And then Latias, 90 HP. Promo XY78 has Eon Connection. Draw a card. If Latios is on your bench, draw one more card. And then Speedwing does 60. And then you got the beautiful, cute little Pikachu EX. 130 HP. Iron Tail does 30 times. Flip a coin until you get Tails. This attack does 30 damage times the number of heads. So it could do zero damage. And then Overspark does 50 times. Discard all electric energy attached to this Pokemon. This attack does 50 damage times the uh, number of energy cards you discarded. So you have three electric, lightning, whatever you want to call it on there, and you discard all three, does 150. If you got four in there, discard them all, does 200, and so on. So those are the promos, the good mint condition promos. Again, thank you, Pokemon. And then we have five booster packs here. One Primal Clash, one Roaring Skies, one Ancient Origins, and two Breakthrough. So we'll go oldest to newest, starting off with Primal Clash. Now the other beef I have, Pokemon, let's see. Yeah, make the codes not backwards. It makes life easier on us Poketubers. We're helping you guys by, you know, showing off and promoting your product and enticing others to want to get it as well. So help make our jobs of basically marketing for you easier and put the codes not code out. So when we open the packs, we don't accidentally show them off because a lot of us want to use the codes ourselves. Just the way it is. But anyways, we got Staryu, Lotad, Solrock, Drillbur, Nosepass, Marshdomp, Bunnelby, Ancient Trait. Oh, that was the competitive pick in MLPB, and I never got a single competitive pick in Season 1. Electric Ancient Trait, Tynamo Reverse, and a Rhyperior. So nothing special there. Uh, but like I said, if it was an MLPB opening, that would have been one point for me via the competitive pick. And by the way, the MLPB Finals for Season 1 is happening, I believe, on Sunday. I don't know the top off the top of my head, but it is Dallas the Deal and the Milwaukee Meltanks against Tim L. Pokemon and the Hartford Houndooms. And they will be each opening up an Elite Trainer Box. And it will be Mega versus Primal, just like the conference is. Uh, check at official MLPB on Twitter for more details and updates with that. And as a reminder too, MILPB, Minor League Pack Battles, is also in progress. Uh, week four happens on Friday and Saturday, week four of six for the regular season, and there'll be playoffs for that as well. And season two of MLPB will be coming later on, so stay tuned. Anyways, for Roaring Skies, we got Tratini. Execute. Toke, Toke, Bree! Fletchling. Shuppet. Winona. Mega Turbo. Thero. Cascoon Reverse. And Deltaria Ancient Trait. So pull wise, not too good, but I'm still in a happy chipper mood because the promos were fantastic condition. Now I'm not used to that, so that was a very pleasant surprise. And now this code is the right way. It's even worse when it's like every other one is different because then you don't know what's happening until you open the pack. It's like, oh! I gotta try to peel it out from back and then it's like, oh, it's the right way. So I'm showing the code on accident. Oh, it's just a whole thing. Anyways, Ancient Origins gives us Relicamp, Golurk, Persian, Baltoy, Inke, Lucky Helmet, Amphro Spirit Link, Curlia, Gloom Reverse, and a Porygon Z. So still no shiny goodness, but hopefully that's because they're in these breakthrough packs, which is kind of where I prefer them to be, unless we got, you know, like a Shaman EX or something in Orange Skies, but, you know. Let's see, that code backwards again, all right. Let's see, three and two. Let's see if we can find something good in one of these packs. We've got Chespin, Zoroa, Throki, Snover, Quilava, Bahium, Pinsir, the reverse is a Snorlax, that's an uncommon, and the rare, oh baby, the rare is a Mega Mewtwo EX Full Art. There's the shine, shine, that shines so bright. 210 HP, it is the Mega Mewtwo Y version. Psychic Infinity does 10 plus it does 30 more damage times the amount of energy attached to both active Pokemon, and it's not affected by weakness. Very beautiful, full art, Mega Mewtwo. So that makes up for the first three packs being duds. All right, and the condition looks pretty good too. 
A little white speck there, but the corners look pretty good. And there's little, very, very minor white spots, but for an English full art, that's about as good as you can hope for. So, very happy with that pull right there. So that brings us then to our last pack, Last Chance for Glory. And by the way, that Mewtwo Y came in a Mewtwo Y pack. Mega Mewtwo Y. Maybe we can get a Mega Mewtwo X in the Mega Mewtwo X pack. Wouldn't that be something if we got both Megas and in their respective pack arts? That'd be insane. Especially given it's that it's just two packs. All right, so we've got Staryu, Skiddo, Bronzor, Meowth, Zorua, Hunter, <clears throat> Hunter, Hunter. Close enough. Frogadier, Staravia. Oh, we have a Noivern break with Synchro Woofer. 130 HP and the attack does 70 plus. If you have the same number of cards in your hand as your opponent, this attack does 80 more damage. So I can do 150 for three, plus you can have your know, muscle band and stuff as well. So not too shabby. And the rare of the pack is a bronze on. So not bad at all. We don't get anything in the first three packs, but Breakthrough comes through with a Noivern Break and a Mega, two, Mega Mewtwo EX to go along with all this other beautiful, beautiful, shiny goodness. Uh, just FYI, these retail, I think it was $35 MSRP. Uh, once they actually release on November 18th, we'll try to get them up on our website, thepokecapital.com. But they should be a little cheaper, but shipping makes it kind of tricky, so once you factor shipping, if you're buying just one, it might end up being more than 35, depending on where you live and stuff too, because the boxes are so big. Uh, maybe I'll include an option to buy them loose, where you get not the packaging, you just get, you know, the stack of promos, the pin, and then the packs loose, as that makes shipping a lot easier and a lot cheaper, so we might do that. Um, and as I didn't specify earlier, this is not a battle, but if uh, Toys MCN partners upload a Pikachu or Hoopa EX box in the near future, I'll probably include a couple of them in the eye up there. So go ahead and you know, click the eye. You might find a couple options in there in case you want to see others opened. Um, I know Professor K of the Pokemon Evolutionaries picked these up, and I think he's uploading these in the next couple of days. So check his channel if you want to see this and the Hoopa EX box opened again or for the first time in the case of Hoopa. But enough of me rambling. Please subscribe, rock smash that like button, visit our website, and I'll see you guys back here tomorrow for another Breakthrough Booster Box opening battle and maybe an episode of Carrier Pidgey Express pulls as well. So, a lot more goodness for you guys coming up. Stay tuned, and I'll see you guys next time.